the Photoshop brush editor, the brush settings menu, it can be a little overwhelming. Um, and honestly, I avoided it for a really long time. Uh, and I was right to do so because when I was first learning how to paint uh, digitally or otherwise, I think the simplest philosophy is always the best. So it's best to just use the simple brush. Don't worry about brushes. Use a hard round and a hard square, uh, simple shapes and um, focus on drawing and creating colors and value and measurement and relations, you know, the building blocks of making good paintings. But if you have a pretty good handle on some of that, or maybe you just want to have fun making some custom brushes in Photoshop, this is going to be a great video for you. Um, one of the reasons I like making my own brushes now is, well, it's fun. I, I really enjoy making my own tools in Photoshop. It's not super uh, hard once you figure it out. And it kind of gives your work a more unique look. Um, and we can go in here, I'll pull something up. A couple paintings that I did recently of some flower fields that were very inspired by making brushes. You know, I was making all these brushes and I was having fun and just creating uh, these things. So these are all made um, a mixture of, you know, brushes I already had. And a lot of them are brushes I created, like these lupine brushes. Uh, these uh, are something that I made. We're gonna go over how to make something similar to this later. And then you're just kind of getting this interesting texture by overlaying things on top of it. And then this, a lot of this is just, you know, my own texture that I made and we're gonna get into that too. And it's just really, really nice to be able to make something and not have it feel like something that you got out of a brush pack or something like that. And, you know, in the end, I could strip all of these of their um, texture and their fanciness and they would probably still read as correctly because the foundation of the color and the drawing and the composition and the lighting, that's what's most important. You know, using a fancy brush is kind of like icing on the cake. Once you start making brushes you'll kind of get the ins and outs of things that are no good um, so for a lot of brushes think like big spots of black that are really apparent on the outside edges i usually like to kill those fun thing about painting once you get a little bit better at it is that you start to explore more and uh, be a little bit more open to the possibility of things looking like you made them not necessarily a style but kind of like handwriting because what we're going to do is combine these and kind of like jigsaw puzzle them together to make a nice little stipple and you can easily just draw dots in photoshop with a brush to get the same effect but something about the randomness of the ink spray you kind of get more interesting dots just do what we did earlier which is kind of adding a little bit of extra interest to those shapes Thank you. 